Hey, welcome back, Whiskey Questers, to another episode of Whiskey Quest. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Antonio, and in this channel, I like to try whiskeys from all over the world. I like to add a touch of water to each one of them just to see if it changes. You'll never know unless you try it. So if you're curious about whiskey, you want to learn more about whiskey, just in general, you love whiskey, consider hitting that subscribe button with the bell notification so you can stick around for more videos. Let's move on with today's Whiskey of the Week, Johnny Walker's Jane Walker. So I picked up this bottle about two weeks ago. This is the limited edition from Johnny Walker, the Jane Walker 10 year old blended malt scotch whiskey. This one cost me $35 and this one comes at you bottled at 41.9 percent abv so higher than the regular core lineup which are all bottled pretty much at uh, 40 percent except for the the green label let's take a look at the color here and let's move on with the review so this one i'm pretty sure they add coloring just like the other johnny walker products but this has a nice golden color not much really to look at since they add coloring but it does have a nice golden color in the bottle. All right, on the nose. Very first thing that hits my nose is a lot of fruit. Like I get peaches and apples. I get that nice multi, multi kind of note coming out. Some caramel. I get some, some light cinnamon. Very light on the oak, but it comes through very nice. Now I do get a hint of peat mixed in with some some grapes in there, like green grapes. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be the cardu that they use in, in all their Johnny Walkers. All right, so let's take a sip of this and see what it's all about. Cheers, everybody. Hey, what are you guys looking at? Simply delicious. Right at first, you start detecting all those fruit flavors, but then it starts getting overtaken by the maltiness. It's like, I get a nice, almost creamy. It's not fully creamy, but I get a nice, let's say buttery kind of mouthfeel on this one, followed by that smokiness, some light oak, some chocolate developing. There's that cinnamon. Gives you a nice hug going down. I'd say the finish on this is nice and long with some dark burnt sugar kind of flavor lingering in the very end. Some fruit notes also still hanging in there. Overall, I think to me, this is nice, like a fresh kind of whiskey. Something I would want to sip out on my deck in a, in a nice, summer evening so this is pretty delicious just the way it is but when i decided to add a little bit of water to it it simply i think to my to my palate it made it taste a little bit better even though i like tasting it both ways but with a little bit of water in this it really brought out like more i don't know you want to say like a like a woman's touch because it does smell a little perfumey. I guess you could say floral. Oh, it's just great. So I'm gonna let this sit just for a little bit. We'll be right back. All right, let's move on to the nose with a little bit of water. So like I said, to me, this gets very floral. A lot more maltiness developing. Those fruit flavors are still there, or notes. But I, some more oak developing, a lot less of that peaty smoke that I was getting without the water. But overall, I'd say you got sweeter, lighter on the nose in a good kind of way. And on the palate, cheers, everybody. On the palate, with that drop of water, to me, it really got softer. It got more creamier. 
a lot more milk chocolate developing then transitioning into a dark chocolate very creamy like i said but it's just it's like less of the flavor but at the same time it got amped up and it just got softer and rounder a little bit more enjoyable on the palate yeah this time around the finish got a little bit shorter now it's more like medium to long but it just lingers with a nice soft creamy chocolatey malty kind of flavor simply delicious guys really great sipping whiskey so my final thoughts on the jane walker 10 year old blended malt scotch whiskey 35 dollars guys <laughs> simply delicious i really do hope that they decide to just maybe keep this around make it part of the core lineup why not it's good it's really good for that i'm gonna give this a nice 87 out of 100 if you guys already like johnny walker products you're gonna love this one so that's it for the review guys thanks again for stopping by and checking out my thoughts on a new whiskey of the week again if you guys pick this up drop me a comment below i would love to see what you guys think of it and if you've been watching a few of these videos and you like what you're seeing go ahead and hit that subscribe button with the bell notification so you can stick around for more videos don't forget to share it with your friends shares everybody i'll see you guys on the next video peace